Where is Wu Tai Mountain? Mountain Wu Tai is one of the four sacred Buddhist mountains of China. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Shanxi Province. And Wu Tai Shan means five plateau mountains. It's a popular pilgrimage destination for Buddhists. The weather in Wu Tai Mountain remains cool in summer, but freezingly cold in winter. What do you see in Wu Tai Shan? You may plan two or three days to stay in Wu Tai Mountain, and you can visit the temples for one day and tour in five plateaus for another day. Some monasteries are free. Some large monasteries charge up to ten yuan, ten entry ticket. And here are the places you should go. Pusa Ding, Pusa Peak. Pusa Peak is in the north of Xiantong Temple and Taiyuan Temple. There are two big temples in Taihui Town, and Xiantong Temple and Taiyuan Temple. Both temples are in the west side of the Qingshui River. A good way to see this is to start from the top of the hillock. That are on Pusa Ding, and then you can walk down the hill through all three monasteries. And this way, you walk down, not up the flights of one thousand eighty steps. That represent the one thousand eighty annoyances of Buddhism. And Pusa Peak was the place where several emperors lived there before, when the royal members came for pilgrimage. Xiantong Shi, Xiantong Temple. Xiantong Temple is one of the largest temples. Buddhism took over from Taoism as the main religion in this area. Taiyuan Si, Taiyuan Temple. The white stupa is in the center of Taiyuan Temple. It becomes the landmark of Wu Tai Shan. Dai Luo Di. Dailuo Peak. Dailuo Peak is located on the east side of the Qingshui River, and middle of the mountains, lower than the five plateaus but higher than the most temples. To view from this peak, you can overlook Xiantong Temple, Taiyuan Temple, and most of Taihua Village. There are 1,080 steps up to the top. There is also a cable car. To take you most of the way up and down, and take a price at thirty yuan. The foot of Taylor Peak is also the starting point to the five plateaus, where you can find the ticket office for the mini buses. Wu Tai Ding, the five plateaus. The name of Wu Tai Mountains comes from the five plateaus, but it doesn't mean that you have to see all five plateau mountains. Although many people do, each plateau has a Buddhist monastery. Many mini buses leave each day from the foot of Dai Luo Peak in the center of Taihua Village to tour all five plateaus in succession. There are fewer buses just to visit one plateau. It takes about eight and a half hours to go around all five plateaus, with thirty minutes stop at each plateau and a forty-minute break for lunch. 
It means lots of time in mini buses for some people. The buses run on bumpy roads and only allow three minutes actually spent there. Seeing all five plateaus, you might see the central, west, and south plateaus in the morning, and the north and east plateaus are more rocky. The North Peak is the highest point in northern China, and you may notice the thinness of air when climbing the temple steps. You can choose one, but the mini bus company at the foot of Dai Luoding Peak likes to have at least six customers for each mini bus. Visiting one plateau not just saves your money. If you arrange it correctly, you should be able to have more plateau time and less minibus time, which could make your day much more enjoyable. The bus ticket for individual plateau is around 80 yuan for one person and 350 yuan per person to see all five peaks. The South Plateau is the lowest altitude, the greenest, and might be the nicest one to visit. The weather is likely to be slightly milder, better for a picnic. Maybe you could stop at Jinge Temple. At the central western plateau, you might see more wild flowers. The plateau monasteries are not equipped to supply food to tourists, and I suggest you stock up at the stop point on snacks. Please understand in one day's travel, you will have to use the toilets. The toilets at monasteries are raw, old style, communal, outdoor squat, dirty and stink. I'm sorry to say. Temple etiquette. When stepping over the plank of wood at the foot of each door, it's best to enter and exit on the right and use your right foot first. Please pay attention to the signs. You should not take photos in some places. How to get to mountain Wutai? Wutai Shan is in northeastern Shanxi near the border with Hebei province. The core area for visits is the town of Taihuai located in the mountain. It's about half away between Taiyuan and Datong, the two largest cities in the province and these two cities have the two nearest airports and Wutai Mountain can be reached by bus from each of the cities in about four to five hours. Taiyuan is the nearest airport if you organize flights from Guangzhou, Beijing or Shanghai other cities. This train station called Wutai Shan is not actually in Wutai Shan but in Shahe, about 50 kilometers away from Wutai Station. The train station that serve this road are small. Major train stations in the vicinity of Wutai Shan are Taiyuan and Datong. Buses and taxis run from each city. Access to Wutai Shan is easiest from Xinzhou the closest city of intermediate size. Starting from February 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic makes the international travel difficult and much less than before. Hopefully my video will give you some guide for your travel someday in the future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and will continue to enjoy more China tours with me.